Dave Schultz for 103.7 The Game at the Teague, where the Raging Cajuns survive a marathon. 14-inning game against ULM, in which they defeated the Warhawks 6-5. Seth Harrison coming up with a clutch base hit in the bottom half of the 14th inning, bringing home the winning run. He was just trying to do it for his teammates. I think as a, as a team, just no matter what's going on, uh, we're going to take care of business. Uh, I mean, we're, we're, we'll go 14 and the last seven or eight get shut out, but know that our bullpen's going to be able to keep us in there and hold it and shut the door and, and come through, and uh, that's what they're able to do today. Raging Cajuns used eight pitchers on the day. Coach Tony Robichaux believes this can propel the guys in the Sun Belt Conference Tournament. That's huge, just like a hitter when he gets a big hit or a pitcher when he throws good, it can start him on a roll. Now this, now these guys, because when you're going to get in a tournament like we're in, you're going to play some games, so the bullpen's going to be taxed. And so I think it's real big that we carry some momentum in there with some of these guys that are now feeling better about themselves. Raging Cajuns will have a couple of days off before they head to Mobile for that Sun Belt Conference tournament. They're the regular season champs and the number one seed, and they will play on Wednesday. Once again, your final score from the Teague, the Raging Cajuns defeat the ULM Warhawks 6-5. For 103.7 The Game, I'm Dave Schultz.